In Creole Parametric, you can use Model Based Definition, or MBD, to reduce the design to manufacturing to inspection cycle. An important part of Model Based Definition is adding semantic references to all your 3D annotations. Semantic means machine readable. What's important is that when you take this file, whether it's the native file or a step AP242 file, and send it to your manufacturers, that all these 3D annotations have all the necessary references so the manufacturing and inspection machines know the references for it. Let's take a look at how to do this. So here I have my model. I'm going to go to one of my combinations states. Here I have one that just has some of my dimensions on here. You want to go through all your dimensions, regardless of whether they are driving dimensions or driven dimensions, and make sure that they have the necessary references. The way that you do that is you click on a dimension, and then in the ribbon for the dimension tab, you can click on references over here. We can see that the dimension doesn't have any references over here. So we can select our first dimensioning reference. I will select this surface over here, and then we can click in the collector to activate the second dimension reference. And I'm going to use query select. I'm going to tap the right mouse button to get the correct surface to highlight, and then left click on it. So this way I have my references. And there's some checkboxes here for strong. That just means that you can get a regeneration failure if something happens to the references. But I don't need to do that. Let's click the OK button out of there. So that way I've got this one set up. Let's take a look at a, another one in here. Oh, it looks like there's one I forgot to add to this state. Let me go back over here. This this dimension over here. I'm going to select it and then go to the Annotate tab, Assign to States. I want to make sure that that is on 7A as well. Click the OK button. Let me hop back to 7A now, and it's listed in there. So this one is three times a radius dimension. So again, I'll click on it, and then here we have references. And right now it's just got an edge in there, the one that it was placed on. But really it should be this surface. And I'll hold down the Control key and get this surface and this surface as well. Those are the references that I want for it. That's good. Let's click the OK button out of here. And let's take a look at uh, another one over here. And one way that you can do that is by going through the detail tree. So I can select this one. Okay, that's one that I already got. Let's go to this one over here. It's another radius. Again, we can go to references and pick this one over here and then click OK. And then go to this other one. And I can see that oh, that one is for the location of the hole. So again, you can go to references and we can say that, you know, it's got this edge over here and it's got the axis. Maybe in addition to the edge, I want it to pick up this surface as well. So that's good. Let's click the OK button out of there. And so if you take a look in the detail tree, we've got our created dimensions down here. Here are our model dimensions. So again, you can click through there and say, OK, what are the references for this one? Oh, it doesn't have them listed in here. That one should be from this surface to, oops, don't forget to click in the collector for the second dimension reference, or you can right mouse click and hold and activate the second dimension reference collector from there. From there, pick the surface. That's good. Let's click the OK button out of there. So basically, you want to go through all your different dimensions and make sure that they have the references. Let's go to our other combination state over here. And this one has my different geometric tolerances. So let's take a look at that. I can select it here on the screen. Here's the one for the flatness. And if I go to references over here, oh good, it's already got that surface in there. But let's take a look at the A datum. I'll click on that one, and for the references, it doesn't have the surface in there, so let me pick that one up. I'll click the OK button, and then just continue on the process. Select this one over here, verify the references, that's good. But since this is attached to the geometric tolerance, hey, let's pick up the surface that it needs to get. And let's take a look at 
couple other ones in here. Here I have this surface profile, and it's to go from a G location to an H location, which I don't have in this combination state. If I go back to default all, they're just a couple notes over here for G and H. But let me go back to 7B, where I have this one. So I can select the geometric tolerance, go to references, and right now it just has one surface in there, but really it's supposed to have all of these surfaces in here. So let me use the control key to grab all the necessary sur surfaces for the surface profile geometric tolerance. So that's good. Let's click the OK button over here. And another example where you might have to pick up multiple different references. Hey, here we have this one for a geometric tolerance. Let me go to the references for the position one. And so for this one, it's for the different holes in here. So maybe I want to pick up the locations of these different holes in here and click the OK button. And for the dimension, if I go to references, I might need, need to grab all these different surfaces for the dimension one. Uh, really, you'll want to check with your manufacturers and inspection people to make sure that you have all the necessary references that the machine should pick up. Let me click the OK button out of here. And similar for this other hole over here, I can select the position geometric tolerance, then go to references, and that should most likely pick up these surfaces over here and click the OK button and then go to the call out for the actual holes themselves and the references for this one. Since this calls out the counter bore and the counter sink, I probably want to grab all of these surfaces involved with the hole. There we go. Click the OK button and let's see other ones I want to pick up. Oh yeah, make sure that datum tag C, does it have the necessary reference? That should be this surface over here and click the OK button. And so in that way you can go through and make sure that you do this. One thing to be aware of, depending on the version of Creole Parametric that you are in, you may need to create an annotation feature in order to select the references, depending on the type of annotation that you're using. I am in Creole Parametric 7.0, so I am able to add the references to annotation elements for dimensions, geometric tolerances, and notes. Uh, but let's take a look at an example of surface finishes. Let me go make sure that I am using the right combinations, or excuse me, right annotation plane. B looks good. Let's say I want to call out a surface finish for this surface over here. I will click on surface finish, and then here I can click on the browse button if I want to grab a different one. Let's grab, let's say, a machined one. Let's use standard one. And from variable text, here's the roughness. I can change it if I want to. Let's go back to the general tab. Here for the model references, I will pick this surface over here. And maybe for the type that I want to use, let's do with leaders. And I'll locate on this surface and then middle mouse button. So there I have the surface finish created and here we have model references but depending on the version of creole parametric that you are in you may need to create an annotation feature so that this particular surface finish picks up the necessary references let me click ok out of here to create it if you want to create an annotation feature from the annotation element you can click on it and then here is the icon in the mini toolbar to create the annotation feature. You'll see that this one has the surface picked up in there. If you create the annotation feature and it doesn't have the surface in there, well, this way you can add it in there so that it is semantic or machine readable. Let's click the OK button out of there. And if I scroll down to the bottom of the model tree, here we have the annotation feature. You can also right click on the annotation feature and move it to the footer if you don't want it in the main body of the model tree. So in that way, you can take your different annotation elements and driving dimensions and annotation features and add the semantic references so that when you actually take these files and use them in your manufacturing and inspection software, that it's going to understand the necessary references. And this is a really critical step 
of the model-based definition process. Make sure that you do this before generating your technical data package. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.